deadly disease affecting ginger production in southern Kaduna. The Senate notes that the ginger has been grown in the southern part of Kaduna State since about 1927, and it has steadily increased in its importance as a valuable commodity over the intervening years. The Senate further notes that Kaduna State ranks the highest in ginger production in Nigeria, contributing to Nigeria's place as one of the largest producers of ginger in the world, with a production average of more than 300,000 tons during the five-year period from 2014 to 2018, and a global market share of about 11% trailing only India. Cognizant that as a subset of the agricultural sector, ginger production has a significant impact on revenue generation and farmers' income, thereby reducing the rate of poverty amongst the local farmers of southern Kaduna and the country at large. Also cognizant that apart from its revenue generating potential, the consumption of ginger has many health benefits ranging from the prevention of stomach ulcers, the reduction of nausea and vomiting amongst pregnant women, to chemotherapy treatment for cancer patients. Worried that the 2023 ginger season in southern Kaduna has suffered a significant setback due to an outbreak of fungi pat pathogens infection, destroying over 2,500 hectares of farmlands estimated at 10 billion naira across seven local government areas of southern Kaduna, thereby significantly threatening Nigeria's position on the world chart of ginger production. Also worried that this devastating and unprecedented ginger pandemic affects Nigeria's non-oil export performance and is already affecting the lives of many individuals within the affected communities of southern Kaduna because ginger is the source of livelihood. Disturbed about the public health risk of this deadly disease because research has revealed that organisms that affect plants may develop some sort of host jumping with mutation or development of the mechanism switching over to the host and the pathogen that was earlier infecting plants, changing and affecting human beings. The Senate accordingly resolves to mandate its Committee on Agricultural Production and Rural Development to interface with the hierarchy of the National Agricultural Quarantine Services and the Supervisory Ministry, the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, towards conducting an immediate on the spot assessment tour of all affected areas of the ginger pandemic in Southern Kaduna State. Call on the Nigerian Center for Disease Control and Prevention to immediately coordinate surveillance systems to collect, analyze, and interpret data on this disease towards the prevention of further spread of, of the pythonases. Also call on the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to immediately, and as a matter of particular urgency, provide palliatives to the affected ginger farmers of Southern Kaduna, whose means of livelihood has been completely crippled by the disease that has destroyed their production of the rhizome. Also, make any further directives as deemed expedient in the circumstances. Mr. President, by way of Adam Break. No. Any seconder? This is Senator Katung. On the prevailing condition in ginger production in southern Kaduna, I remain Senator Babangida Husseini representing Jigawa Northwest. Thank you, sir. Colleagues, I am Senator Tidus Zam. I represent the people of Benue Northwest Senatorial District. Mr. President, I rise to uh, add my voice to the need to protect producers of uh, ginger in, in southern Kaduna and to support every effort towards. Uh, resolving the challenge posed by this disease on ginger production. The irony of this situation in Nigeria is that why some people are talking about oil and gas as a major source of revenue to their own community. Other parts of the country have agriculture as their basis of survival economically. So it makes a lot of economic sense for us to also add our weight 
and support our brothers in Southern Kaduna who are producers of ginger. You know that there is a call for sheep now from petrodollar economy to agriculture. So providing this kind of uh, support to agriculturists or farmers of, of Southern Kaduna will therefore add weight to the shift of this country towards agriculture. And I support this uh, motion in its entirety. Thank you very much, Mr. Senate President, distinguished colleague. Mr. President, I wanted to add that Kaduna South and the farmers of Kaduna South are contributing towards the global ginger production. And it is interesting to note that Nigerian ginger is highly rated in the international commodity market, most particularly in the Middle East and the Far East. Efforts have been made to invest in the value chain, the ginger value chain, knowing that the application of ginger in pharmaceutical, food, and nutritional industry is immeasurable. So therefore, I, appreciate, I will appreciate that we accord this motion the urgency and the necessity it requires so that the uh, required steps can be taken to salvage the situation. Especially diseases that affect plants, plants are almost likely to transmute and affect human beings, especially in the food value chain. It is on this premise that I want to urge that this motion should be accorded the urgency and the priority it deserves so that the ginger sector will not be hampered. And especially now that the season is coming, our farmers in Kaduna will have cause to smile. Thank you, sir. I rise to support this motion. Heavily moved by Senator Masha. My name remains Kelvin Chuku, representing the good people of Enugu East. Mr. President, Southern Kaduna is the highest producer of ginger in Nigeria. And by extension, the third or the second producer in the whole world. I know that this disease has affected the lives of individuals in the local community. Some people on hearing about the disease almost collapsed. If you go to the Southern Kaduna today, a lot of homes have been shattered by this disease because their economy has been affected drastically. So I, I call upon my distinguished colleagues to support this motion so that this disease can be stopped and, uh, and um, stopped and uh, put to a halt. I so moved. <coughs> Turn the block from the south. I rush to support this motion for <coughs> ginger disease protection. Now, Apart from health issues around this very important motion, it's also rooted deeply in economic matters. Uh, ginger is one of the products that is meant for export from Nigeria, from Kaduna South from Nigeria. It's has been known uh, historically, and they are very experienced in this pro in production of ginger one of the highest qualities, like Senator Babangida alluded to that. Uh, but the area I'm trying to emphasize has to do with uh, the value of our NERA today. If we 
improve that sector and export, the moment we earn more foreign exchange, the value of our Naira will be impacted positively. And that's the area I would like that we give serious attention to this motion for this economic benefit. Attached to that, Mr. President, is the disease itself. Uh, I think when researching into getting how it came about, let them look at uh, the biological uh, uh, source of that uh, in security with some security eyes on that. Uh, it has not happened before. This is the first time this particular type of disease, but the impact is very, very drastic. So when looking into it, let's uh, let the relevant authorities look deeper into the source of that disease, how it can be controlled, and then eventually that the economy of Kaduna South will be improved, Kaduna State and Nigeria. And my concern will be earning efforts to strengthen the size of the Naira and the strength of the Naira. Thank you, Mr. President. Distinguished Senator Darlington Mwokocha, I speak for the entire Nigeria, but Abia Central in particular. I want to sincerely thank the mover of this motion. But I think uh, I will come from the flank of our budgetary provision. Since we are clamoring for a very serious uh, support for non-oil export promotion, and ginger production is one key area that generates a lot of employment and a lot of funds as well into our society. To what extent are we proactive towards research and development in some of these cash crops? Developing it and finding a way that instead of reacting to these kind of situations, we now tend to be more proactive in providing solutions ahead of time. Mr. Senior President, the research, agri research institutions, if you go through the budget, you find out that the provision and the provision, what we provide in those, for those institutions is so infinitesimal, so little to even carry out a particular one little research or the other. I think, thank God, that this motion is coming quite ahead of the time we're expecting to have the national budget. I'm in full support that we should stem off strength of these research institutes so that they can research ahead of time and look into the critical areas and develop the necessary vaccines and uh, medicine to tackle this situation. Then, when it happens, we now react instead of becoming proactive. Therefore, I'm fully in support of this, and I will, I, will, I will add an additional prayer when we get to that point to make sure that we support with a lot of uh, 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 budgetary provisions as well. Thank you. Thank you, distinguished uh, Mandate its Committee on Agricultural Production and Rural Development to interface with the hierarchy of the National Agricultural Quarantine Services and its supervisory ministry, the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, towards conducting an immediate on-the-spot assessment tour of all affected areas of the gender pandemic in Southern Carolina. Those in support of this prayer want say aye. aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. Prayer two. Call on the Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention to immediately coordinate surveillance uh, systems to collect, analyze, and interpret data on this disease towards the prevention of further spread or pyetonosis. Uh, Those in support of this prayer say aye. aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. Prayer three. Call on the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, to immediately and as a matter of particular uh, urgency provide palliatives to the affected ginger farmers of Southern Carolina whose means of livelihood have been completely crippled by the disease that has destroyed their production of the rhizome. Those in support of this prayer say aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. Prayer four, 
make any further directives as deemed expedient in the circumstances. Uh, those in support of this prayer say aye. Those against say nay. The eyes have it. Let me quickly thank uh, our brother for a very beautifully worded motion that he has just uh, presented. And uh, to say that uh, the civil senator Khartoum Sondemasha, some of the uh, acronyms and wordings that you use uh, were, were, uh, were very, very professional. And, uh, and uh, the prayers were well couched. It's a, a, something we must take seriously, and the clerk of the Senate will communicate the decisions of this Senate to the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and all relevant agencies to look into this issue and tackle the issue uh, effectively, particularly to preempt uh, future occurrences. And, uh, the issue, and then, of course, it's also important to ameliorate the sufferings of the farmers. Uh, that's why it's important. That's why I said the prayer was well couched, so that NEMA can also move in there and, uh, and provide palliatives to them because of the fact that they've lost their means of livelihood due to this disease. Thank you, my colleagues, also for your contributions. Senate Leader.